URL delivered one of the biggest events in battle rap history with resolution. The sold out event broke records and dominated the culture in a way we have never seen. However, there's another massive event on the horizon with another grudge match that looks to have an even bigger impact. Two legends in the culture will compete on the highest level in Houston, Texas on one of the culture's annual marquee events. Finally, all differences will be settled officially as Battle Rap's world leader hosts another legendary event. This is URL's No 9 Face-Off, Loaded Lux versus Averb. I just feel like it's just something I need to do. You know, I, I see something that y'all don't see. So I'm gonna show it to y'all. Simple. The East Coast, New York City, the Midwest. Since URL's humble beginnings, talented individuals from these markets have been at war. New York City being the birthplace and the mecca of the culture, outsiders were forced to fight even harder to earn their respect. As the culture began to grow, the Midwest invasion took place and nobody could deny their skill set and presence. As time progressed, battles between the two markets took place and there was some resolve to the power struggle. However, in war, there are always leaders those who people look to, to represent them and to carry on tradition. On June 8th, one leader from each market will once again enter into the battlefield known as the Ultimate Rap League to see who is truly the best as they square off on the only stage that matters. This is Known Nine. Loaded Lux versus Averb. Face off, it's finally going down. I'm here with Battle Raps, two legend of Battle Raps. Loaded Lux and Averb, Averb, Loaded Lux. You know, you'll feel away if I don't say your name first. But um, it's going down, my nigga. Two legends, man. One of the most anticipated battles in Battle Rap. How do you feel that the, it's finally going down? You said a nigga was running his hair. I mean, shit, you gonna clap for somebody just suiting up? How you always be talking about, man? Don't, don't, don't tell me he's here. Okay. Motherfucker, don't tell me he's here. He's, okay, he should have been here. <laughs> okay. Uh, you know what I'm saying? So, he's been here. Are you excited? How does this make you feel? Excited. He should be here. You can't, he can't. Late to the party. Been here. What are we doing? Like, what, what, you, you excited because he's late? He walked in late? I'm excited yeah. because this is a good battle. And y'all been talking shit for a long time. You you, you want to tell the people what our bet is? I don't want to talk about that right no, now. No, let's talk about it. All right, hold on. Let's oh, these niggas got a Yo, let me, slow down, Lux. Let me ask yeah. you a question. <laughs> a lot of There's a lot of pressure on you right now. No, it's not. Hold on, let me, no, no, no. <laughs> no it's not. Hold on, hold on. It's really no, not. No, no, don't interrupt my questions, my nigga. All right. What does the pressure feel like? Does it put a lot of pressure on your shoulder? What? Ver, I'm not worried about Ver. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm here for the people. I'm gonna be honest. You hear me? I'm here because y'all think this nigga beat Moot or whatever happened, and I, I got it. So you have an obligation. No, 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 no. I have an obligation. No, 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 no. I have an obligation. It's not they think I beat shit down his leg or he did force. Oh, that's, that's the same shit. So. No, he beat, he, listen. He beat shit I beat down myself. He beat me that night. No, no, he beat shit down your leg and I pulled up in his house. Yeah, listen. Let me and, tell you something. And took for you. Thank right? me. Okay. There's always been that dude that everybody guns to beat, the end boss in battle rap, and that guy, for the most part, has always been Loaded Lux. 
Well, Lux is basically probably one of the biggest names in battle rap just due to the fact that he's one of the first representatives, first generation from the Smack DVD era. Him coming to the stage and him coming back to the URLTV.TV movement is gonna be something special. Where do I place Lux in battle rap history? In a box, whenever they give me the date. I think Verb always, um, I wanna say looked up to Lux, um, but for, for Verb to be a pillar to hold the Midwest movement, you know, arguably be on Mount Rushmore, arguably be one of the greatest ever, um, for him to battle with Lux and just, that's real competition. That's real elite versus elite. So that, that's what the culture needs. It's not just names with them. You know what I mean? You got the names and then you got the motive, you got the build up, you got the hype, you got the anticipation and you got the skill. I think it's important because, you know, this, this battle is old to the culture. It's been brewing for a long time. So, and it's about time this weak ass suited up. I mean, this is a big battle. Yeah, I've definitely faced both, and um, this battle is long overdue. This battle speaks volumes for the content that's been brought to this game. They've both brought a certain level of content that we've all copied the format of, of speaking to your opponent, of talking to their life. So to see both of them talk to each other's life <laughs> is gonna make this amazing. This is the, the battle of the year for sure. This is a nigga in my way, on my way. I promise you that. You know what I'm saying? I got work to do, man. Come on, man. If you feel like you're gonna be shit down this man's leg. I avenged the motherfucker. You know what I'm mm. saying? That's what we did. He have a he has a he has yeah, a that's, that's he, he has a great resume. You know what I mean? Amazing. You wanna keep going? No, Move hollow, no, uh, sir. I've seen everybody you seen. Yeah. You it just, just didn't go that you way just when you took battled a lot of niggas. That don't mean you got a great resume. <laughs> yeah, huh? chill, chill, chill. Why you chill? Be honest. Don't say that. You, you battled a lot of okay. people. This is interesting. Let's go. Yeah. Oh, man. This is, this Let's is, go. Are you gonna lose this one? Let's go. That's rude. No, listen. Let's go. I'm not gonna lose this one, because I'll be the first to say, you can talk. Facts. You're going to talk. You're going to talk, talk, and you're going to talk. You could talk. You could talk. You could talk. You could. Look, you done talked your way into this situation no, right no, here. No, no. Let's be <laughs> honest, my nigga. You done talked your this way shit, here, this bro. This shit so deja vu. But when we look at your resume. Why is it deja yeah. Verb potentially has the greatest resume in battle rap at this exact moment. Sue Surf. Arsenal. The motherfucking madman disaster. Murder Mook. Hitman Holla and arguably, in my, my opinion, the best match to have happened before Little Lux, my favorite yet. Head to the motherfucking stay. Hollow to Don. Briz Rose. Me, John John to Don. <laughs> Rex, Clips, everybody. Uh, K Sean. New Jersey twerk. And Mav to the motherfucking hot fuzz. Let's get my brother in there, man. I love you, Mav. Man, man. <laughs> that resume crazy. It's crazy. Bro, his, his resume is probably the best. Surf found out what's up with me. Me and Hitman had a classic. Me and Goods made a classic. I pulled up on Disaster and made a classic too. Hollow the Don knows up with me. He pulled up on me early. Mook knows what's up with me. I lost to Cliff because God had to humble me some because I was winning too much. Everybody in Jersey. Oh, I beat everybody in Jersey. Oh. Y'all champion of the year, O'Red found out what was up with me. Arsenal found out what was up with me with no problem. Matter of fact, I beat everybody in Jersey. Except Suge, I never take Suge because it just don't make any sense. Cortez came to St. Louis and found out what was up with Verb. I can do this all day long, like, it's not a problem. I can do this all day long. Cortez found out what was up with Verb. Matt Hopper found out what was up with Verb. A matter of fact, you know, everybody in LA, Daylight found out what was up with Verb. Danny Myers found out what was up with, with Verb. B Dot found out what was Verb. I've seen them all, man. I've seen them all. I've, I, everybody was good. I saw them. It just doesn't matter. Im impeccable resume. When it comes to big battles, Verb shows the fuck up. Verb is here now, man. Verb, Verb is a god of this shit. I think we should all give him his flowers while he's here. Don't wait till after you see what he do with Lux. Give it to him now. You know what I mean? Give it to him now. Show up to that battle. Show some support to him and Lux. You know what I mean? But Verb is definitely a pillar of this culture, and we definitely need to salute him. Legend for sure. Uh, Mount Rushmore candidate. Goat conversation. All of that. You know what I mean? I'm giving him all of that, man. Salute Dave Verb. I think this is my most powerful version of myself. And this is the only rapper that I really, really want to kill. I'm not taking anything away from work ethic, you know what I'm saying? That's what's up. Um, just me personally, I don't feel like quantity, um, I don't feel like it trumps quality. It just don't. 
Not in my book. If I can quote the great Dr. King, um, it's not how long you live, it's how well you live. You understand? So it may have taken him that many lessons, you know, to get what we can understand in a couple, so. The nigga got six shows on his side of the world, and he only been good twice, we ain't worried about no shit like that. Pulling up on him, shit, smoking, what's the difference? Mm -hmm. <laughs> You got everything going your way. It's, this ain't nothing, man. This is nothing. Yo, they think you got. And, and listen, you don't see that. And listen, so you don't have yeah. no more excuses. We, this is not a home game, we, right? Oh no, we've we, we been, been made. This is not a home game. We've been made. And I really wanted to do it in St. Louis. You did be, say that. To tell the truth. You did say that. I talked my shit. I said, yeah, I want to go to St. Louis. So you was a man oh, once yeah, out of ten man. years. I feel like um, Houston deserves it. Texas is the second biggest market for battle rap. That crowd there. Like no other crowd I've ever been in. I was jealous I wasn't rapping there that night. So this event, they definitely deserve it and they gonna, they gonna give that energy that, that's given to them, they gonna give it back times 10. If Lux can reinvent himself the same way he did when he first came back Summer Madness 2, I, and it don't matter where it's at because as long as the people seeing something that they never seen before, coming from somebody who people regard, at, regard to as the God, you know what I mean? I think it's gonna be crazy, but that's if Lux can do that. If Lux been doing the same thing he been doing, it's gonna be a little tough for him. I think they'll rock with it. Houston was one of the best crowds I ever, I ever seen. Lux going on the road to Houston, I don't really feel any type of way about it. I love the Houston crowd when you guys had Gnome 8. Gnome 8 there, I love the crowd. They, they were receptive to anything. And at the same time, they booed. You know what I mean? Like, a lot of crowds, well, not a lot of crowds. New York, they'll boo you and then cheer for you the next bar. They did that in Houston, but I do feel like they booed when it was like, all right, cool. But they cheered for a lot of things that might have not gotten cheered for in New York. City of Houston basically, you know, came out for Gnome 8. They showed love, so I want to reciprocate that love. I wanted to bring something special to the city, so I chose to do the A-verb and Loaded Lux in the city of Houston. I know they're going to appreciate it. They're definitely going to appreciate this battle, and, and, and I think it might mean more for them getting it than a New York getting it. Or, or, or St. Louis, that's what I mean. Like, I'm glad to see it go down there rather than a New York or St. Louis. They're definitely gonna appreciate it. I'm from the South, so I know how, you know, they, we, we, we really don't have shit. Because they want to be comforted. You see what I'm saying? They want to be cushioned. You know, they want to be hugged and have all their neighborhood clapping for them. I don't need none of that shit, that's proven. My whole career, I pull up by myself, me and a bitch, me and two bitches. That's how I rock. I don't need no support. Cause I know what I am. I know I'm a god. I don't gotta worry about that. If you can watch your feed from anywhere in the world, you are you, wherever you are. You know, you're taking in emotions however you're taking them. So um, I like to think that the fans in Houston, Texas, or St. Louis, or New York are all avid watchers of battle rap and they know what content hits and what doesn't. So if we just did it on the playing field of skill, you know what I mean? Already, you know, what's in the, what's in the still don't need to be said. But, um, however, I guess the um, the idea of that is, oh, um, so you comfortable, and I'm um, more so in a New York setting than anywhere else. Well, um, my background, I mean, before the cameras started hitting us, was that I was always in situations where uh, the odds were against me. I just always took on an underdog mentality because that was my conditioning. Like, we used to do this for money. Like, really do this for money. That was the hustle. I had to go battle to put something in my belly. So when you talk about going to people's backyards and, you know, it's even, I, I take it, to be honest, this is easier now. People know you. They know me. They know certain things to expect. I had none of that coming up. I had you, your hood, and that money on the line. Ain't nobody trying to go, yeah, yeah, for anything. I'm at your neck. Listen, I'm going to beat him, man. It's, I only got to even talk crazy. Y'all, I'm going to beat him. Simple. It's not, this not hard. We been through, we sink this shit, man. <laughs> What yeah. have you seen? But what have you seen? Are you talking about the, 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 the tuxedos and shit? Are you talking about man, that? Man, we the, not, the not worried about no shit. I just stood in front of too many cannons, man. We ain't worried about no shit they can do. I guess. Oh, yeah. I'm going to still say anyway. <laughs> One thing we can't take away from you yeah. is you show up, you make it happen, every time. And, you come, and you come 100%. Yeah, every time. You understand? We about now, hold up. What you just saying? He come 100% sometimes, but I have to give him that. <laughs> oh, I'll make it look good. Oh, oh, no, you just said but, but, but no, no, no. But listen, the, right. the, 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 his, his, the last shit with Mook, you know, it look a little, it, he looks, he, he's, on, he's on God level right now. I think Mook beat himself. 
badly. That's just what it is. Like, Verb, I'm gonna give him credit for being Verb, you know? And look, I ain't gonna never take nothing away from effort. You feel me? I'm, I'm never gonna take anything away from you giving yourself your all. You know what I'm saying? I just felt that the fact that Mook wasn't his all and he fell short is what made Verb's performance look a little bit elevated under the lights. Now, I'm, you speaking from somebody that do this. Know every nook and cranny that go into delivering and getting what you, you know what I'm saying? The, the end result. That shit was the thing of Mook not being who Mook needed to be. And that's what, give, that's what brings us here right now. But I'm telling you, I'm not gonna take, yeah. I don't wanna do too much talking, man. I'm already, I'm already at the arena, Houston. I'm already there, man. Word, man, I feel like me coming out the thing, just like swooping in with the, they need to fly me in that motherfucker with a helicopter, I'm telling you, man. They need to bring the chop out when I land, man. Houston, y'all, yo. Houston, show the fuck up, man. Seriously, man, it might be, you might not never get another away game from Loaded Love. Who knows how this shit go? But I'm telling you, this one, I'm gonna hurt this one. Based on what he did, yeah. so much different eyes, so much different sponsors yeah. came in, it, it put battle rap at another level. Yeah, great. So a lot of people, a lot what, of new people. Hold on, stop. It, what? it was packed a year before these motherfuckers got on stage. Facts, we got to use the mic. We got to use the mic. Hold on, hold on. We talking about. Wait, 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 hold on. We got to use the handheld. Hold on, listen. We used handheld to something went wrong. Hold on, that ain't got nothing to do with us. Okay. The same building was packed a year before these motherfuckers touched the stage. What about the sponsors? And the prices were still the same. What about the sponsors? Don't get his fucked up. I think a win for A Bird does everything. I mean, he beat Mook and then he beat Lux. For him, that's everything. You know what I'm saying? Who can really say too much? One, can't nobody say that. I know of. Can't nobody say they beat both of them. Lux is on Mount Rushmore for a fact, along with five other guys I've beaten. But guess what? I'm on my own island, because I'm the first one that pulled him and Mook out the house in eight months. Nobody else from our era will ever battle both of them. How about, how, how, how about him forgetting this whole first round? How about that? Let's talk about that. Sure. Yeah, you let's, forgot your whole first let's, round. Let's, 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 let's fuck, motherfucker, you ain't gonna see that shit happen to work. I don't have no questions. We gonna simplify, oh, you got, no. Okay, we gonna man. simplify all of this shit. Motherfucker's <laughs> crazy. This is what I do know, right? Run the accolades down, you can do all of that, right? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna simplify this for the people at home watching. Mm -hmm. And y'all can go, go back through the game tapes. Mm -hmm. This is what I do know, y'all. Mm -hmm. You can talk mm -hmm. from now until May, mm -hmm. okay? Yeah. No, I'm not. Bottom line, though, yeah. one thing's for sure, two things for certain. You can't rap better than me. Okay. Mm. Okay? Don't let me say Your that. Your whole life, you can never rap better than that me, and you crazy. never will. Okay. That's Bottom crazy. line, wow. you think you got Bro. better? I do this every That's day. Come see the villain, the bad guy. I'm gonna get a show, you hear me? Trust me, I'm gonna give you a show. URL's Gnome 9, Loaded Lux versus Aver. Saturday, June the 8th, 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Live on pay per view at watchbattlelive.com. Don't miss history, be a part of it. Order it now. Next time. On URL's Gnome 9 Face Off. What? This me. So? You know that, right? Mm -hmm. So? You know that. Mm -hmm. Who the fuck I'm talking to? All right. All right, so he was telling somebody that they wasn't living the life that they portrayed. I feel that he single handedly, because of his brown, yeah. changed the dynamic of battle rap. That's my opinion. Which one? Some man is the, 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 yeah, You know, the, you know what I'm talking about. Like, claim I stole from. Yeah, your third. Yeah.